everyone in Millie and Molly's class was excited because Miss Blythe was bringing someone special to school. Here she comes! Well, well, and why would we be so well behaved today? You weren't expecting me to bring my little friend, were you? Aww. Yes, Millie? You mean she didn't come? Did I say that? Everyone meet Jock. Yay! Oh, shush, now you don't want to frighten him. <laughs> He'll never come out of his cage if he's frightened. Will you, Jock? Miss Blythe knows best! Miss Blythe knows best! <laughs> what did he say? Miss Blythe knows best. And isn't that the truth, eh, Jock? Miss Blythe knows best! Miss Blythe knows best! <laughs> The rest of the day, Millie and Molly and their classmates had fun with Miss Blythe's little friend. Say Molly. Miss Blythe! No, Molly. Say Molly. Miss Blythe! <laughs> Beetlejuice was filled with warmth and wonder. He felt special. The end. Did you like that story, Jock? It's the class favourite. Miss Blythe knows best! Miss Blythe knows best! <laughs> You see, Jock's very smart indeed. He wakes me up every morning at the same time. He keeps me company in the evening. And he knows lots of things. What do you know, Jock? Miss Blythe knows best! Miss Blythe knows best! <laughs> but a few days later, Miss Blythe had some very sad news. How did he die? Poor Jock. He was very old, you know. Been with me for years and... Oh, little fellow. I'll miss you. Everyone felt sad. But Miss Blythe was the saddest of all. So Millie and Molly decided they should try to do something to make their teacher feel better. Molly looked for a present to cheer up Miss Blythe. No. Wow. No. But Molly just couldn't decide. Nothing seemed right. But Millie knew exactly what Miss Blythe needed to cheer her up. Okay, straight away. Here's my pocket money. Put it with mine. Do you think it's enough? Oh, that'll be plenty. Just pick out the budgie you think Miss Blythe would like best. Oh, look at them all. Wow! <laughs> oh, let's get this yellow one. Yellow is my favourite colour. But this is funny. Look at him, a headstand. And now it's someone saw Watch him! <laughs> They're talking! <laughs> <laughs> now look what he's doing! He's mad! <laughs> he's a clown! Oh, you found the right ones there! The yellow one's Daffodil and the blue one's Billy Boy! Boys even teaching the other birds how to play soccer. <laughs> Looks like Daffodil enjoys her sports too. Which one are you going to take? It's too hard to choose. The yellow one's so pretty. But the blue one was the same colour as Jock was. So that decided it. The next day, Miss Blythe was going to get a new blue budgie to replace oh, poor Jock. Thank you. Millie and Molly were sure this would cheer up their teacher. But when they got back to Millie's house, Marmalade wasn't the only one to be disappointed. What's wrong with him? I don't know. Come on, Billy boy. Stand on your head. Hmm. Show us how to play soccer, Billy boy. Billy boy, Billy boy, fly! <laughs> <laughs> 
My best lettuce. Your little bird will love it. Won't he? Yes, yes Aunt Maud. Of course he will. But Billy Boy wasn't interested in the lettuce. In fact, Billy Boy didn't seem to be interested in anything. I don't think we should tell Aunt Maud her lettuce didn't work. Me neither. Maybe Billy Boy thinks Marmalade's going to eat him. Sure, Marmalade. Go away. Billy Boy isn't your dinner. Naughty Marmalade. Hmm. Still nothing. Whatever Billy and Molly tried, Billy Boy just sat and blinked. Hmm. He never looked like standing on his head, or doing cartwheels, or playing soccer. We can't take him to Miss Blythe like this. The next day at school, poor Miss Blythe seemed sadder than ever. Can we have Beetlejuice again today, please, Miss Blythe? Sorry, people. I know Beetlejuice is your favourite, but I don't really feel up to reading the story today. Aww. Maybe tomorrow. Off you go. You can go home early today. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Millie and Molly had to do something for poor Miss Blythe. So after school, they took Billy Boy to the vet. Well, I can't see anything wrong with him. Birds do try to hide if they're sick, but Billy Boy doesn't have anything wrong that I can find. But he used to do all sorts of tricks and was funny. We got him so he would cheer up Miss Blythe. Isn't there anything you can do? Well, we could try some vitamins, but you do seem to be giving him the right food and the best of care. the vitamins are supposed to work? I don't know. Maybe Miss Blythe will start to cheer up by herself. But Miss Blythe didn't seem to be cheering up at all. Oh, Jock, where is that noisy voice of yours gone waking me up every morning? You scallywag. <sighs> oh, no. Millie and Molly needed to do something right away. So the two friends took Billy Boy back to the kind man at the pet shop to see if he could help. Well, that's strange indeed. The very same thing has happened to Daffodil. She hasn't been herself at all. No games, no squawking. I... huh? Well, kids, you then. Well, will you look at that? No, wait. I see what's happening. I don't think it was the vitamins that made Billy Boy better. Billy Boy has found Daffodil again. They were sad when they were separated. They're friends. You mean Billy Boy wasn't sick? No, they just missed each other. They need to be together. Perhaps you should choose another budgie for Miss Blythe. So Millie and Molly looked. And watched. And looked again. <gasps> Look! Till finally they saw a little blue budgie sitting all alone. Could we have that one please? Oh, I think that's a good choice. Looks like this little fellow needs a friend. Just like Miss Blythe. Oh, you're a noisy one. Oh, I'm cheeky too. 
This is the most thoughtful present I've ever been given. Thank you both very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> now would you look at that? He's learning some manners already. Thank you. Thank you, thank you! A fast learner, just like Jock was. And while she never forgot her dear friend Jock, her new budgie gave Miss Blythe the fun and friendship she was missing. Well, who wants me to read the story Beetlejuice? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One day, Millie and Molly saw a new boy arriving at school. Welcome! I wonder who he is, what his name is. I hope he likes riddles. All oh, wants to go on adventures. All oh, like Jello. <laughs> I reckon he looks weird. Oh, Humphrey, he might be nice. You don't know. Okay, well, we'll find out in a minute. Yeah, I can't wait. All right, everyone. <laughs> we have a new person joining our class. This is Alf. We'll say hello. Hello, Alf. Alf, would you like to say something? Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me in your class. He talks funny. <laughs> <laughs> he has an accent, Humphrey. And so do I. Do I talk funny, Humphrey? Hmm? No, Miss Blythe. Right. Alf comes from another country. That's why he has an accent. His own country isn't a safe place to live anymore. So he's making a new start right here. I hope you'll all make him feel welcome. Millie and Molly? Will you look after Alf, please? Sure. Yes, Miss Blythe. Millie and Molly tried to make friends with Alf. Kick it here! But Alf was different somehow. Um, what was your old country like, Alf? Did it have jungles and wild animals? I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Who was that lady who brought you to school? That's my nan. I have a nanny too. Does she live in the caravan? Um, no. I live with nan in our caravan. Oh, what about your mum and dad? I don't have a mum and dad. I just have nan. It's your kick again, Humphrey. Hi, Alf. Forget your shoes, did ya? I don't have any shoes. Well, not any. No. <laughs> hey, Alf doesn't have any shoes! <laughs> Don't be mean. What? Whoa! <laughs> 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 Don't laugh at me! Want help? You! Leave me alone, you weirdo! Alf, would you like to come and visit at my house after school? You can meet Marmalade. Marmalade? My pet cat. I'll bring Tomcat. We can play with them. OK. Please, come back. But Alf didn't know how to play with cats. But I won't hurt you, pussycat. He'd never had a pet before. Don't worry, Alf. Mama just doesn't like strangers. Tomcat neither. But next time, you should just strike them. Patting hard is only for dogs. Sorry. Will they come back? Um, eventually. Everything Alf did was different, even the way he learned. He was good at spelling because he helped his nan do the crossword. Eight letter word, big building with lots of patients. Hospital, H-O-S-P-I-T-A-L. Good boy. We thought we'd never find you. Nothing to be frightened about, Tomcat. Pussy girls! <laughs> And Alf was good at sums because he helped the butcher count out the change. Ten, twenty, and twenty is fifty. Thank you, Alf. Marmalade, Tomcat! Marmalade, please, Marmalade. Nothing to be frightened of. There they are, at the butcher's. Marmalade, Tomcat! Pussies! Don't run away! Oh, no!
Some people didn't like Alf just because he was different. You're not supposed to swim in your shorts. Where's your bathing suit? I don't have one. <laughs> no swimmers, weirdo! Humphrey, be nice. <laughs> Alf's on his own over there. I thought you two were trying to help Alf feel welcome, be his friends. We have been trying, Miss Blythe, but he doesn't like riddles, and... I know he's a little different, but we're all different. You, Millie, you like adventure, and you'd rather paint, Molly, but you're still friends, aren't you? Best friends. But we both like dolls and yellow and stripes. Perhaps there's something you both like that Alf might like, too. Try? Well, just think about it. Now remember everyone, don't forget tomorrow is come as you want to be day. Dress up and show everyone what you want to be when you grow up. All right? Yay! The next day, everyone was excited about come as you want to be day. Oh, a pirate! Arr! And you, Poppy, I see you want to be a business person. Well done. And Tom, a fireman. And Millie, let me guess, an adventurer? <laughs> and I'm going to be a famous artist. Very good. Stand back. Oh, who have we here, Humphrey? I'm not Humphrey. I'm Blue Man, superhero from outer space. Come to save the world from destructo robots and man-eating dinosaurs. Save the planet over there and let hmm. someone else in the door. Yeah! Here I come, everyone! <laughs> Look at you Alf. You didn't get dressed up. Look at Alf. Alf? You know it's come as you want to be, dear, don't you? Yes. Well, you haven't dressed up as anything. What do you want to be? I just like being myself. <laughs> of course you do, Alf. Why can't you do anything normal? No one likes you, Alf. No one wants to be your friend. Humphrey, that's not a very nice thing to say at all. Well, it's what everyone thinks. No, it isn't. Alf's coming to my house again this afternoon with Molly. And we're going to have fun together, all three of us. Millie and Molly had decided they would try extra hard to be friends with Alf. Did you find your cuts? Oh, yes. But Mum Lady's having a holiday at my place with Tom Cat. Oh, I like your cuts. We've got a surprise for you. Something we can all do together. We know you're good with sums and reading and spelling. So, we thought you could help us do some cooking. You can help us by reading the recipe and counting up all the things that should go in the bowl. And Millie and I can mix. No. Oh. oh. But we thought, I want to mix too. Okay. Good. <laughs> A cup of breadcrumbs and mix. Look, I'm a top cat. Shh, pretend you're not here. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Yes. We're going to do it again this afternoon. Wonderful. Humphrey? Yes, Miss Blythe? Why are you wearing that beanie? It's not cold. I'm cold. What's going on, Humphrey? I... Uh, the blue from yesterday wouldn't wash out of my hair. Oh, it can't be that bad. Can we see? <laughs> no! Everyone will laugh! Humphrey? All that morning... Everyone Humphrey. looked for Humphrey. Hi. Humphrey, come on out! Humphrey! 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 Right. Humphrey. Humphrey. Humphrey! 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 Go away! Why? 
You laugh at me. No, I won't. You will. I don't laugh at other people. Well, everyone else is going to think this is funny. I look stupid. Blue hair just makes you different. I don't want to be different. My nan says different makes you special instead of just the same as everyone else. Special? Nan says people only laugh because they're glad they're not the ones being laughed at. Your nan's a pretty smart person, Alf. I know. Humphrey, are you ready to come back into the class now? Well, only if Alf sits with me. So Humphrey sat next to his new best friend for the rest of the year. Yeah! And nobody cheered harder than Humphrey when Alf won that year's prize for being best all-rounder. Of course, Millie and Molly were pretty loud, too. We knew you were the best, Bella. Yeah! Alf finally smiled. But he never smiled so much as when his friends, Millie and Molly, showed him how to stroke cats without frightening them. I think those cats like you, Alf. <laughs> Neither Millie nor Molly liked swimming lessons. They were still learning, and Millie always got pool water up her nose. And Molly always drank lots of water. Accidentally, of course. Try not to drink all the pool water, Molly. Leave some for the other people to swim in. <coughs> you two just keep trying. You'll get there. Look at Miss Blythe. She keeps trying, and she can't swim at all. to be able to get to the edge of the pool. Coming! <laughs> Come on, girls. Time to get out. Do we have to have lessons again tomorrow? But you need to learn to swim. It's fun. But Miss Black can't swim. Can't we wait till we're grown up like her, please? It's much harder to learn when you're older. But I get water up my nose. <sighs> Let's talk about it later. Push it above into the sky. <laughs> Not too high. <laughs> Taffy? Taffy Bogle? Oh, no. Huh? Naughty dog. Now look what you've done. Dear, oh dear, my poor garden. <laughs> What's Taffy Bogle done now? Just look at my lovely geraniums. Oh, it's not really his fault. He doesn't get a walk often enough. Can't keep up with the young fella. He's got to work off his energy somehow. He loves a game. Mm. He brought the stick back. <laughs> look at his funny tail. Can I throw the stick? Please? Is it all right? Of course. Taffy Burgle doesn't bite or anything, but it's good to ask before you play with a dog you don't know. Fetch! <coughs> ah! Pity this yard's so small. He really needs to get out. We could take Taffy Burgle for a walk, couldn't we, Molly? Uh, um... That's a very nice offer, Millie. But I'm not sure Molly likes Taffy Bogle. Come on, Molly. You throw the stick. He won't hurt you. Don't worry. Try. Mm-hmm. I'll try. <coughs> Fetch! <coughs> See? He brought it back. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh. Looks like you've made a friend there, Molly. <laughs> See? His funny little tail is wagging. It means he likes you. <gasps> Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Maybe you can take Taffy Bogle for a walk. Millie and Molly got permission from their parents, but Mr. Limpy still wanted to make sure that Taffy Bogle would behave for them on their walk. That'll do. Okay. Call him. Taffy Bogle, 
Taffy, bye, come on, boy. Come here, Taffy. Good boy. Even though Taffy Bogle came when he was called, Mr. Limpy was still a little worried. He'd never let his lovely dog out of his sight before, and Taffy Bogle was Mr. Limpy's only family. Be a good boy on your walk. Thanks, girls. Now he mustn't be late for dinner. He won't. And make sure you don't go near the river. Taffy Bogle can't swim. Neither can we. <laughs> Come on, Taffy Bogle. Good boy. We're going to have a nice walk, aren't we? Oh. Millie and Molly were surprised at how many telegraph poles and fences and letter boxes Taffy Bogle left messages for other dogs to sniff. Millie and Molly decided that Taffy Bogle must have had a lot to say. <laughs> and Molly thought it was funny that when dogs did meet, they talked to each other by sniffing in strange places. But whenever Millie and Molly called... Come on, Taffy Bogle. Taffy Bogle came straight away. Bogle wouldn't come back. And no matter how hard Millie and Molly ran, they couldn't keep up. Past the school. Past the swimming pool. Through the park. the river to where Taffy Bogle couldn't see marmalade anymore. There he is. Taffy Bogle. Good boy. Taffy okay. Bogle. But just then, Taffy Bogle saw something else. It was his favourite toy, a stick. Look, he's playing that stick game again. We'll grab him when he brings it back. But remember what Mr Limpy said. Taffy Bogle can't swim. Hold on, Taffy Bogle. Poor Taffy Bogle. The river's current was very strong. Oh no! Taffy Bogle's going to be late for dinner. Taffy Bogle! Hold on! Paddle! Hold on to stick! Bush Bob was enjoying his fishing when he heard Millie and Molly call out. Bush Bob! Bush Bob! Hmm? Can you save Taffy Bogle? He can't swim and he mustn't be late for dinner. Bush Bob tried hard, but couldn't reach oh. Taffy Bogle. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry. You'd better hurry. We can't reach him from up here. Miss Black, could you save Taffy Bogle? He can't swim and he mustn't be late for dinner. Oh, dear. Sorry, girls, but I can't swim either. You'll have to catch him further down the stream. Soon the water was wide and deep, and the ferryman was too busy dealing with some passengers to notice a little dog. But what difference would it make? I'm not sitting next to him. What makes you think I would want to sit next to you? But you like the same things. You both love... Mr. Ferryman, huh? help what? us! Can you save Taffy Bogle? He can't swim and he mustn't be late for dinner. But the ferry was only for crossing the river. It couldn't save Taffy Bogle. I'll get help. If only I had a phone. Here, here, use, use my, my phone. phone. Hmm. But poor Taffy Bogle kept being swept by the river all the way out to sea. Oh, no! Millie and Molly were very upset and wondered what they'd say to Mr Limpy, who'd be waiting for his dog to come home for dinner. Taffy Bogle was all the family Mr. Limpy had. Uh -huh. What's the rescue helicopter? Has someone lost a dog that can't swim and mustn't be late for dinner? Yes, uh, Taffy Bogle is in the sea. Will you rescue him? Can we help? The helicopter soon took off. But Taffy Bogle was only a little dog in a very big sea. Taffy Bogle 
saw the helicopter, he knew he would be all right. And he still had enough energy to wag his funny little tail. And he was still wagging his funny little tail when the helicopter winched him up. And he wagged his funny little tail especially hard when Millie and Molly nursed and stroked and dried him. But Millie and Molly still had to get Taffy Bogle home before he was late for dinner. They ran back through the park. Back past the swimming pool. Back past the school. But Mr. Limpy was already waiting. Could Millie and Molly get Taffy Bogle home before he was late for dinner? We're here! We're not late for dinner! I hope you've been a good boy, Taffy Bogle. When Mr. Limpy brought Taffy Bogle his dinner, Mr. Limpy was in for a surprise. Well, well, you must have given Taffy Bogle a good walk. He's never been too tired to eat his dinner before. Looks like he won't be digging up my garden either. Can you give him another walk tomorrow? Yes, we'd like to. But it'll have to be after our swimming lessons. Oh yes, we have to go to our swimming lessons. We need to know how to swim. After your swimming lessons, then. Maybe Taffy Bogle should have some swimming lessons, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr Limpy, on tomorrow's walk, can we take Taffy Bogle on a lead? Well, of course. <laughs>